Are you a runner? Have you experienced back pain from running? I'm Steph and I've been a physical therapist for over 10 years and a runner for over 20 years. I've helped so many patients get back to running injury free that I wanted to share some of my tips and tricks with you too. Today I've got a quick fix to get rid of back pain and keep you running pain free. Before we get into it, please hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. And check out my website to learn more about how you can keep yourself healthy and on the go. Runners can experience back pain for a variety of different reasons. It could be due to um, lumbar spine and pelvic alignment issues. It could be muscle imbalances. Um, it could even be the surface you're running on or the shoes you're wearing or maybe getting too old. If you are experiencing severe low back pain with running, please seek medical help. Don't let that go. If you're dealing with more of a one-sided back pain, check out this video I did on um, SI joint pain. Or if you would like to learn more about where your back pain might be coming from, you can check out this video that I did. Today I have some quick fixes for just that nagging, aching, tight pain across your low back. It's usually felt during or after your run, and oftentimes it's due to an increase in the anterior tilt of your pelvis when we run. When we drive our legs forward with every stride, we're kicking in those hip flexor muscles in the front of the hips, and this pulls the pelvis forward. That, in effect, shortens the muscles in the low back because our, it increases that arch in your low back. So then those muscles in the back, because they're shortening and tightening, um, can start to get irritated. So how can we fix it? Today I want to show you three exercises to do before you run and three exercises to do after. Here we go. So first up, before you go on your run, I want you to already be doing some dynamic warm up before you go. Make sure to add in hip flexors. And so I'll show you a forward lunge that you can do to um, help warm up and stretch out the hip flexors before you even start. Um, I want you to work on activation of the, um, the back muscles and the glute muscles so that those so they're warmed up and firing already before you go on your run. Again, so that hopefully they are not getting as irritated um, during your run. So that's gonna be hydrants and planks. Okay, so hydrants, you are in hands and knees position and you're just going to externally rotate your one of your legs at a time. I want you to do two sets of 10 on each side. Slow controlled movements. Make sure your back is nice, neutral, flat spine. And so then I want you to go into a plank. So again, nice neutral spine. You can go on full um, arm straight or on your elbows. Back flat, no arching. Tummy is tight and activated. I want you to do two times 30 second holds on this to get that core and low back nice and activated and strong. Then after your run, I want you to stretch all these areas out. So specifically the hip flexors and the low back muscles every time after your run. I'm gonna do a double knee to chest stretch. So I'm just gonna bring my knees up and I'm gonna gently hug them in. And I'm, what I'm feeling is a gentle stretch through my low back. The muscles as well as the fascial tissue that's connecting there can get really tight with running. So this just helps to reverse that arch and let those muscles and those tissues stretch out. So that two, to two times, 30 seconds. Take deep breaths, you can allow everything to relax and stretch. And then I'm gonna have you switch to um, what I call straddle pose. I don't know if it's really called that or not, but that's what I call it. So you can either hang out here, cause this feels like a good stretch too. Again, two times, 30 seconds. And then I like to straighten my knees a little bit too, cause then you get a little bit more stretch in those tissues in the low back. And that one is a little more intense, so you don't have to hold it quite as long. Maybe two or three good deep breaths, and then come back down. And then last, I just want you to really stretch out your hip flexor. So we're gonna do it uh, kneeling or standing, you can do either way. So a little bit of a tilt forward, your glutes are activated, your tummy is tight, and then you're just gonna gently lunge forward till you feel a stretch in the front of this hip Again, two times, about 30 seconds on each side. Standing version would be the same, except obviously you'd be standing. Um, again, make sure your pelvis is tucked 
and then you just lunge forward, keeping the back leg straight. There you have it. Just add in these quick fix exercises before and after you run, and you should improve your alignment and have less back pain with your running. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, share with your fellow running friends, and leave any questions or comments for me below. Thanks for watching.